Good afternoon, internet friends. This is Nick doing another episode of Outdoor Fun in Colorado. Uh, today I'm going to be over by uh, Kipling and Jewel at a lake called Main Reservoir. I have never seen this lake so low on water. It's, uh, it's actually very shocking. Uh, according to the fishing report, there's a fair share of trout and walleye out of here. Um, I would imagine if there's walleye, there's probably northern as well. Um, and then bass and catfish. So today I'm going to try a few different Rapalas, see if I can land anything. And I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching another episode. Okay guys, I've got a bite right now. Just waiting for the fish to take it. I'm using power bait on the bottom. Earlier I was doing a couple different Rapalas. A floating Rapala as well as a jerk bait, and nothing was happening. So I just had a couple bites. Curious if he's gonna take it. So sometimes you can scare the fish away when they're nibbling at the bait and they're not actually taking it. So sometimes being patient and seeing if the fish decides to get more aggressive and go after the power bait. Is I finally got one. I probably missed six fish to finally hook one. Uh, I've discovered that you got to use a lot less power bait. And they're definitely active for the power bait. This one's putting up a good fight. See? He's... beautiful rainbow oh. yeah. I'm thinking it's right around I'd say about 14 inches beautiful rainbow So the goal is with the net, you can usually just take the hook out real quick. But this one, I got him in a good spot, so I'm gonna be able to get the hook out pretty easy. So there he goes. And he just swam off. So that, was my first fish. I've been here for about three hours now. Tried with flies, nothing, both uh, a fly on top and then one that was sinking a little bit. I've been trying uh, jerk bait as well as floating Rapalas. Nothing was happening. They're all about the power bait today. So uh, I probably missed, like I said, probably six or seven. And I finally landed that one. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on some more uh, fish to come. Okay guys, got another one. They're definitely enjoying the power bait. Hopefully he takes it. There we go. Yep, got this one. So I'm just using a power bait on the bottom. They're very aggressive and going after it. Holy cow, this one's big. This one's pretty good. No, it just looked bigger. Okay, second rainbow. This one, I would say about 13, 14 inches. I'm gonna try to get him home safely as well. Gotta get the uh, This is why I always recommend pliers because this will make the job so much easier. Oh. 
There we go. I always try to release them humanely as possible. Let them calm down a little bit. And he's good to go. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. So, just got two baits on here, uh, two weights on here, and that's because one of them's pretty light with a hooking swivel and just a traditional little hook on the end with a little bit of power bait. And they've been loving this today. I'm uh, amazed that I wasn't catching any on a fly, I wasn't catching any on a Rapala, and that's the thing about fishing is you got to try multiple different methods. If one thing in the truck working, got to try something else. Okay, everybody. So being here at Maine Reservoir off of Kipling in Jewel, Florida area, uh, this is what the lake looks like. As I mentioned, there's supposedly walleye as well as uh, catfish and trout, and I definitely did find trout here. I caught two, probably missed five or six, maybe seven. Uh, that gentleman that you see down there, he said he caught nine trout, so they were very active today. And uh, I would highly recommend coming here. It's nice and peaceful. Uh, the water's really low, but other than that, this is a good close location to go fishing at. And uh, stay tuned for more vis videos for you guys in the future. Hit the like and the subscribe button. Thanks.